This brings us to the last technique from Dempsey's book, the shoulder whirl. The shoulder whirl was Dempsey's way of explaining what is now commonly called the elastic band principle. It involves stretching your muscles as far as they can go until they whip back, like pulling on and then releasing a rubber band. Now let's look at how each piece fit into the Dempsey roll. First, Dempsey gets off angle and then shifts his weight forward with his drop step, quickly gaining distance. He ducks under Wheeler's jab with his bob and weave motion, putting his head offline and transferring his weight. From here, it's bob and weave shifting combined with the shoulder whirl. The first three punches knock Wheeler's guard from side to side, and the fourth one connects with full force. Dempsey put tremendous power into his punches, and Willard would spend the next several minutes of his life taking the worst punishment ever seen in the ring. It involves stretching your muscles as far as they can go until they whip back, like pulling on and then releasing a rubber band. It involves stretching your muscles as far as they can go until they whip back, like pulling on and then releasing a rubber band. Now let's look at how each piece fit into the Dempsey roll. First, Dempsey gets off angle and then shifts his weight forward with his drop step, quickly gaining distance. He ducks under Wheeler's jab with his bob and weave motion, putting his head offline and transferring his weight. From here, it's bob and weave shifting combined with the shoulder whirl. The first three punches knock Wheeler's guard from side to side, and the fourth one connects with full force. Dempsey put tremendous power into his punches, and Willard would spend the next several minutes of his life taking the worst punishment ever seen in the ring. Jack Dempsey was the rarest of fighters, a dangerous combination of unrelenting aggression ever seen in the ring. Jack Dempsey was the rarest of fighters.